Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, be sure to check out some of my other content. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment or subscribe to the channel. In this video, we'll go over running Postgres and PG Admin in Docker. Instead of having to download and install PG Admin and Postgres on your machine, this process provides a quick and easy way to get things set up. Ensure that you have Docker installed on your machine. You can download the application from the Docker website. Once you've downloaded and installed the application, you may proceed with the next steps. Create a docker compose.yaml file. In this example, we'll use compose file version 3.1. You can visit this link to check out which compose file version supports your installed docker release. Next, define a Postgres service that will use the official Postgres 13 image. Under Environments, we'll provide our default DB name, user, and password for when we want to connect to our Postgres database later on. We also need to specify the volume so that we can persist data generated by our container when we run it. The default volume path as specified on the Postgres Docker Hub page is var forward slash lib forward slash Postgres SQL forward slash data. Lastly, let's map the container port to our host port so that we can access our Postgres service which will be running inside a Docker container. The Postgres port is 5432. To start the Postgres container, run docker compose app d in the directory where your docker compose file is located. You can check the running containers in docker desktop to confirm whether or not the Postgres container is running. We'll connect to our database using pgadmin, which will be running in a separate Docker container. Let's define another service for pgadmin, which will use the pgadmin4 image. Under environments, we'll specify our default pgadmin login credentials. Running Docker Compose app again will create a new pgadmin container. You should be able to access the pgadmin web UI on localhost port 80 after mapping the container port to your host port. You can also specify a different port by adding the pgadmin listen port environment variable. Let's set that to 8001. Since we'll be using our pgadmin instance to connect to our Postgres database, the pgadmin service will depend on the Postgres service. We can express this dependency using the depends on condition. In your browser, visit localhost 8001 to sign in to pgadmin using the following credentials specified in the docker-compose.yaml file. Email admin at admin.com. Password is password. And then from here, we can go ahead and add our database. <laughs> 